Dao De Jing. 30. Whoever relies on the Dao in governing men doesn't try to force issues or defeat enemies by force of arms. For every force, there is a counterforce. Violence, even well intentioned, always rebounds upon oneself. The master does his job, then stops. He understands that the universe is forever out of control and that trying to dominate events goes against the current of the Tao. Because he believes in himself, he doesn't try to convince others. Because he is content with himself, he doesn't need others' approval. Because he accepts himself, the whole world accepts him. Dao De Jing, 30. Encouragement along the way. As the airplane goes ahead, goes above, flies in the sky, the airwaves. Maybe it's transmitting this message. <laughs> uh, um, I really hope you're enjoying this series. I really, really do. I have been enjoying it greatly. There are some wonderful truths in this Tao. Let's get into it. Whoever relies on the Tao in governing men doesn't force issues or defeat enemies by force of arms. He uses the word force twice. He doesn't try to force issues or defeat enemies by force of arms. Boy, what a stark contrast to literally the current events of 2024 here at the end of January. With what's going on uh, on the border of Texas in Mexico, the United States border. Very, very interesting things happening down there. Um, <laughs> but look at this. What is the government trying to do? Whoever relies on the Dow and governing men doesn't try to force issues or defeat enemies by force of arms. Because what's that, what does it say will happen? It says for every force there is a counterforce. And there is a counterforce happening to what's going on in America and all over the world, to be quite frank. Um, a counterforce against those who would seek to control, to uh, have some kind of authority um, over you, just because they say so, because they wrote some words down on a page or something and said, now you have to do this or something. It's crazy. For another person to try to have sovereignty over another person and to yay, yay, to even to man, to demand sovereignty over another, the ego that is required for this to happen. Hmm. Something to think about because for every force, there is a counter force violence, even well-intentioned always rebounds upon oneself. Now that is something to ponder and think about. Violence, even well intentioned, always rebounds upon oneself. Mm -hmm. That's why it is important to stay in the center. That is why it is important to return to the center of the circle and let things take their course, take their natural course. The master leads by letting all things come and go effortlessly, by not holding on to anything, 
Don't try to hold on to the truth. Don't try to hold on to the lies. Don't try to hold on to the ideas. Why? Why, why not try to hold on to them? Because what is true is eternal and what is eternally and what is eternal and true will remain inside of you. The, the string like on a guitar being plucked, the reverberation of the truth, it will ring on forever for eternity because eternity doesn't start and stop. It's forever. It goes on for eternity. So if it is true, eternally it will always be true. Moving on, the master does his job and stops. The master does his job and then stops. He understands that the universe is forever out of control and that trying to dominate events goes against the current of the Tao. Hmm. I love this. Just do your job and then step back. The only path to serenity. Do your job, then let go. Do your job, then stop. Understand that the universe is forever out of control and that trying to dominate events goes against the current of the Tao. Why not, rather, instead to try of dominating this event, why not get in the canoe and get into the river of the stream of the current of the flow of the Tao and ride the current with the Tao rather than against the Tao, trying to dominate and control. It's a much easier, peaceful way. You can't know it, but you can be it at ease in your own life. How do I know this is true? I look inside myself and see. The kingdom of heaven is within. A point reiterated in the Tao, a point reiterated in the gospel of Jesus Christ. Dominating events goes against the Trying to dominate events goes against the current of the Tao. Don't. Just don't. <laughs> but don't take my word for it. Take the Tao's word for it. And you know what? Have you been trying to experiment with this way of thinking, with this way of being, with this way of doing, with this way of Taoing <laughs> in your life? Have, have, you, have you been implementing the teachings? Have they been working on you? Has serenity become your every moment? I have only three things to teach you, saith the Tao. Simplicity, patience, compassion. That's later on down the line. But uh, let's, let's end with this last little section. Because, 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 because... <laughs> uh, each of, each of the lines start with because. Because <laughs> of the wonderful things he does. You guys know what that is. Anyway. Because he believes in himself. He doesn't try to convince others. Wow. Wow, this sun is so bright. It's causing the focusing to fail on this camera. How appropriate. How interesting. Because he believes in himself, he doesn't try to convince others. <laughs> Isn't this an easier way, guys? Don't you, can't you just take a deeper breath just thinking about this? Thinking about this being you, describing you. Because you, he believes in himself, he doesn't try to convince others. Why would you try to convince anyone of anything? No. Just do your job, then stop. Do your work, then step back. The only path to serenity. Because he is content with himself, he doesn't need others' approval.
Amen to this. Stop thinking and in your problems also. I am like an idiot, my mind is so empty. Mm -hmm. Care about other people's opinions and you will be their prisoner, says the Tao. Because he is content with himself, he doesn't need others' approval. And ending on this, because he accepts himself, the whole world accepts him. Don't you just love that? Have you accepted yourself fully? Hmm. The master accepts himself. And because he accepts himself, the whole world accepts him. What is the secret? What is the teaching? How exactly do you accept yourself? I dare say it's exactly the same way as I have been imploring you, the listener, to implement for at least a few of these. Return to the source. Return to the center of the circle. Return to your core. Hold on to this. Go as fast as you can. Immediately. As soon as possible. ASAP. Right now. Go to the center. Beeline it. And stay there. And hold on to the center. Because the master leads by letting all things come and go effortlessly. And when you remain in your center, you are able to look at everything and observe the world. And see the chaos, but also contemplate the return of all people. Because you yourself have returned and it is possible to return. It is, in fact, it's easier. It's, there, it's a better and easier way. The way of returning. And the way of returning is, is the way of the Tao. It's the way of water. Um, the way of returning is... Um, the Bible says, God, this is God speaking, return unto me and I will, re will return unto you. Return unto me and I will return unto you. Say, says, saith the word. I pray that you have been blessed by this Tao Te Ching 30 and um, I'm going to end with a prayer for you in the book of 3 John chapter 1 verse 2 beloved I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospereth I do. Yes, I do. I really do. I, I wish that for you. And I pray that it is going well, and I pray that you are walking in harmony with the Tao. Until the next one, in the Lord Jesus' name I pray. Amen.